Having established that we have different line types or line styles that we can use within Caddy, we can now look at scaling. Now there are two distinct types of scaling we can employ here. There's individual scaling and then there's global scaling. So let's take a look at the individual scaling. First of, first of all we're going to select our pixel line style. And what we'll notice if we go to object properties here Yes, we have a line style scaling, but if we change that to, say, 10, and just click into another field here, maybe even do a regen, absolutely nothing changes with respect to the size of the pixel line style on the screen. So that will stay constant irrespective of the line style scaling. Whereas if we choose a vector line style and do the same thing here, we'll change that to 10, what we see is that the line style gets very much larger so we, we may need to make that line a lot larger before we start to see the, the gaps reappear. If we choose the batting here and go to object properties and, and maybe just change that to say three times We'll see that we get loops three times the size. So if it's 20 millimeters, which batting is top to bottom, and we apply a scale factor of times three, then that would give us 60 millimeters of insulation. Now, we also have the ability to apply a global scaling factor with line styles. So let's take a look at that. Let's understand what's going on with global scaling. I've created here a drawing with the different line styles available to us in Caddy. So we have our pixel line styles. Uh, if we take a look at those, those are the line styles which will stay constant irrespective of the zoom factor. Then we have our vector line styles and we have our dash and dots. Notice that we have to do a regen when we want to see the, the effects of getting uh, closer to our drawing. And then over here we have the, the insulation styles where we have the discrete thicknesses of insulation too. And it's worth noting that if they, the line styles are only displayed as, as lines within our model space and we, we create a viewport then until we do a regen in the model space we will only see them as simple lines. So they're dependent on the the Im image that is there in the model space. So let's have a look at what we have here. So settings, drawing elements and setup line style scaling. So we have the line style properties for viewport scalings which we'll deal with when we look at the, the sheets themselves or then we have the properties which will relate to the, the line styles themselves as we see them in the model space. Uh, certainly with the vector line styles, although with the pixel line styles, even if we change that to 50 and do a regen there, we'll see that nothing changes on the pixel line styles at all. The only time we'll see any change there is when we do a print preview or indeed a print of our, our lines. So going back to drawing element setup line style, we'll change that back to the two that it was. Here, if we change the vector line styles to 50, OK that, and then just do a regen, we'll notice instantly that we see a marked change in our drawing. So the center lines uh, and so on, the, the dashes have become much longer, the gaps have become much longer, they're proportionally bigger. But what also happens is that things like the discrete sizes that we have for the insulation will also be scaled. So we have, say, 100 millimeters of insulation, which will be multiplied up by the 50, giving us 5 meters of insulation. Probably not the desired result, uh, and uh, we need to be aware of what we're doing there. So settings, drawing element, setup lifestyle scaling. We, we need to be aware of what we're trying to achieve when we, we apply any scaling to our drawings. We can, of course, use the, the global style in combination with individual line style scalings as far as the vector line styles to achieve the desired result. But let's imagine that we're wanting to 
retain our insulation as insulation there so we'll OK that back at scale factor of 1 and we see again we're back to the, the state of the drawing as we saw it.